Michael Schumacher is a fan of Audemars Piguet and he was invited here to visit this manufacturer and he told us, hi guy, why don't you build a lap timer? There is some races, it's forbidden to have any electronic device. And for me, it could be a good advantage if I have a mechanical lap timer. And uh, we thought, uh, yes, why not? Okay, I think it's possible to do that. Because for me, I prefer to say yes, because to say no all the time is so simple. The lap timer is a traditional chronograph. If I push this bottom here, I stop the chronograph like a normal chronograph. I can stop and I start again and I can stop and make a reset of the hand. It's in the same time a chronograph with a flyback function. I start again the chronograph and now if I press the reset bottom, I engage the flyback device. When I start the chronograph, I start the chronometry and when I push the lap timer, I stop just one wheel, that means one hand, and I make a flyback with just one hand. And the one hand, I start a new time measure and when I push again the lap timer bottom, I stop the moving hand and with this one, I make a flyback and I start a new time measure. And I alternate. Each time I push the lap timer bottom, I stop a chronometer and I launch a new one. I have here at 9 a second hand and at 3 o'clock a minute counter for the chronograph. We have a traditional wheel to engage or disengage the chronograph. It's an oscillating wheel. Now is disengaged. Now is engaged. In this way, we avoid the jumping hand when we start the chronograph. There is three column wheel. There is a column wheel to activate the chronograph. The flyback system. One here and one in a dial side. When I push this bottom, two column wheel turn in the same time to organize the lap timer system.